Hi there, today I'm going to tie a pack fly slash big game salt water fly. This is going to be a blue one and I'm going to do this on a tube because then you can decide for yourself uh, how you want to uh, to make the the, uh, the hook set if you want a tandem or just want a single hook. Um, I have made a video also explaining exactly how you can uh, do these different uh, hook types. So I've attached a future fly a three millimeters uh, clear tube and what I'm going to do is just made a small bundle of uh, of tying thread here I'm gonna make a whip finish because this bundle of uh, tying thread is actually just to uh, to make sure that my um, that my weighting to this fly is gonna stay there. This is uh, some, some future fly XL uh, six millimeters US tubes uh, and these I'm just gonna apply for uh, for having a bit of weight to the fly. Like so if you want you can attach a small drop of super glue just down there to the bottom of the fly to be completely a million percent <laughs> oh, it's secure that the, this is not going anywhere okay so first of all first off I'm gonna use uh, some supreme hair um, uh, a nice uh, nice material to add a lot of bulk to the fly and uh, and also uh, it's it's an artificial material so uh, so it won't uh, it won't uh, it won't add a lot of weight and it won't uh, absorb a lot of water so uh, a nice nice way to to give bulk to a fly without uh, without increasing its 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 weight in the, in the cast uh, too much so I'm just going to make something uh, to for for this material to to latch onto about half here is is, is, is is okay. I'm gonna try to uh, distribute this as evenly as I can all the way around the tube, like so. That looks fairly even. This is a nice material, this supreme hair for for any bait fish uh, uh, patterns, especially for sea trout and and other saltwater patterns. Um, but it's also it's also a nice nice for pike flies. But I use it a lot for for sea trout and and uh, saltwater flies in general. Like this, I'm gonna tie a bit in front of it to make sure that it's uh, it stays where I want it to, and uh, but not tie on top of it. It's gonna have uh, I want it to make a as I said a, a halo effect, so uh, so it will it will secure that uh, that the fly will stay bulky and voluminous. Like that, taking uh, some. Arctic blue new uh, big fly fiber <laughs> and a very nice color uh, actually a color I've, I've been part of uh, designing uh, how to how, how it would uh, how it would look um, it's a bit ex more expensive than the regular uh, big fly fiber because there's a lot more handling and a lot more uh, pros there's a lot more processes to to actually blend the fibers and stuff like that so it's a bit more it's it's a lot more labor intensive and that's why the cost of this is is uh, is a bit more than the regular big fly fiber but uh, but uh, the the finished product is uh, <laughs> i would say just truly awesome like so there you have the base of the fly the bulk of the fly and and also uh, oh yeah okay basically most of the fly I'm gonna keep this fairly fairly simple and straightforward um, when I say that this is great for uh, for saltwater flies it's uh, I've been to Mexico twice to fish for uh, for a marlin and uh, dorado and, uh, and rooster fish and stuff like that and, and blue was uh, was definitely one of the, the favorite colors I managed to hook 13 marlins uh, throughout the two trips I had and uh, land zero. I landed some nice Dorado and stuff like that but uh, but the marlins just simply evaded me. Um, it's it's not that easy actually to catch uh, to catch a marlin on a fly rod unfortunately. But that's also probably why it's it's such a big feat. So to uh, to uh, to make this fly um, bigger and and uh, and give it more appeal to uh, to <laughs> both pike and uh, and uh, and big game and um, i'm gonna add some flash now i'm gonna use a new color of flashy wood that's called uh, moonlight and um, again a color i've designed uh, designed uh, so it's a mixture of of different uh, different flashable uh, fibers and this is the uh, 
This is the Predator packs, which are uh, packages of Fleshaboo in, in the same length as uh, of standard Fleshaboo in the same length as the uh, as the uh, as the Magnum. So you have some uh, some some not as thick flesh, which gives uh, gives you a long, long, long flesh, uh, but uh, but a very very vibrant and, and lively flesh. Like so, gonna turn this over to make sure I get as much power and and bling as possible. <laughs> um, I've not fished uh, a lot with blue flies for for a pike, but it's something I'm gonna have a have a go at now because I talked to some some Dutch and some uh, some uh, some Belgium uh, f folks, and they uh, they uh, more than one of them told me that uh, blue was a good color, and uh, and a couple of them also told me that blue was their absolute all-time favorite color. So um, what I was thinking is that maybe blue, at least in Denmark, is not something that the Pikes have seen a lot of. So uh, so perhaps uh, this could be the new big thing because. Uh, Pikes <laughs> have a tendency, tendency to over time to become. Uh, I don't know if educated is the right word. I think it's the word you use on trout, which which means that they um, they they tend to uh, to be wary of stuff they've seen before. Um, so if you're fishing at a water uh, uh, where where pikes have been caught before and been fished quite heavily on you need to do something that the others don't because uh, especially if it's a catch and release water uh, because uh, the pike will will uh, start to pick up uh, what is uh, diff what what is uh, what is dangerous to to eat and what is uh, what is not and anything that's new is uh, is going to be uh, is going to is going to make that fly fisherman catch more and and blue is traditionally not a color that's been used that much on pike, so I would uh, I would definitely suggest that you uh, you give it a go. And uh, if you make uh, this fly uh, for a pike, uh, but not plan on going blue water, if it doesn't work for pike, then at least you will have one more excuse for uh, for buying that trip to to go blue water fishing because now you have all the flies, you see. <laughs> That's a sound, sound argument that will end any discussion with uh, with your family in regards to uh, to uh, to what the family's uh, <laughs> holiday money should be spent on. I need to use them on me because I need to go fish with the flies I've tied, and they don't, uh, <laughs> and and they just sit there in the box, and that's a waste of good material. So I need to go marlin fishing. I don't know if that's gonna win any argument at all. I don't think it would with my wife, but uh, at least it's something for you to try out, I think. Uh, <laughs> so, oh, oh, I got a bit away there. Sorry about that. Um, I, I already uh, cut off the next uh, strand of flesh, but that's not really what what, what we uh, what I was going to uh, to use. I'm gonna use some uh, some uh, some blue deep blue uh, saddle feathers. These saddle feathers are a bit hard to come by, but uh, and this is from a Keok, Keok saddle. But uh, but uh, uh, I try to have as much of this in the, in the in my shop as possible. So uh, so uh, swing by and and see what's uh, what's in stock, and uh, and if 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 you intend on having some of these, grab some while you can because uh, the stuff is <laughs> is uh, is gone before you know it. Uh, they're a bit expensive. Regretfully, but uh, but they also give a nice nice addition to flies like this So I'm gonna tie some of these in here They move a lot in the water and add a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of movement and uh, And also a lot of contrast. I mean this actually now looks like this is uh, let's say Let's say that this is uh, a small bonito, and bonito is what uh, what uh, what marlin feeds on most of the time. So that can't be a bad thing. The bonitos are quite fun to catch as well, <laughs> though on on lighter tackle, of course. But oh man, small tunas on fly is just uh, it's it's a blast. I got some yellow fins up to around six kilos on a on a ten weight in Mexico and that was epic epic fun really really amazing amazing action 
Um, the big Dorados have fun as well, or the Dorados have fun as well, but, but the tunas up to around 5 kilos that I got was, well, probably one of the, the coolest fights I ever had. They are just spectacular, and uh, <laughs> they swim so fast, it's unbelievable. Well, so, gonna cut off the strands here, all the leftover stuff, and to make sure that this is uh, these hackles will stay there, I'm just gonna add a small drop of super glue to to this here. We want these hackles since they're expensive, then we want them to last as long as we can. I'm just gonna rip off the stuff we don't need there, like so. And then I'm gonna take the final bundle of uh, of uh, flashy boo here. I'm gonna make this so it's not uh, completely even in length. Cut it off in the other end. Again, try to distribute it so it's it's not on so it's so it's uneven in length. I'm gonna tie this down so it's gonna be around all the way around the tube here, like so. This is well uh, an easier way to make a, f a, f a flesh a flesh hackle like that. Gonna make a wood finish, and then you can do well one of several things. But one of the, the the two things I I am thinking about here is uh, one is you can uh, you can take a cam cycler head like this. And you can just basically use this head to your fly, and then you have a very, very nice saltwater popper-like uh, fly uh, for uh, for marlin and stuff like that. I think actually the head is, is when I see most people use it, they turn it this this way to uh, to ensure that it moves a lot of water. But I just think that looks a bit stupid. Um, uh, but uh, I'm gonna use this mainly for a pack, I think so. I'm gonna take um, a flyman a fish mask, like so, and attach that to the fly, uh, like that. I'm gonna uh, attach the head, so I'm gonna, gonna add a small drop of super glue here, like so. I simply take uh, a flyman head like that, and there you have it a nice, nice, nice blue silver <laughs> pike fly that can also be uh, a bonito or something like that for the big dorados and the marlins and the yeah, sailfish stuff like that. Well, uh, those were the words. Thank you for tuning in.